Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth. Flipper, welcome to the Commonwealth. Kevin, you know, do you remember a few episodes ago when I said I got a return? It was a couple of tie list hats and I was a little frustrated by that particular return, but it wasn't that big of a deal. And I said, I hope it doesn't happen again where it comes in threes. It sure enough did. And one of them is even, oh, I don't know if it's more disappointing, but I do have a return that I'm not terribly happy about. And then eBay's forcing me to do, which I probably do it anyways. But I want to talk about that a little bit today. Have a giveaway today as well. A really nice one. You guys want to hang around for that a little bit later in the episode. I've had the same question a few times lately about memberships, channel memberships. And it's something I've never really addressed on here, but I'm going to address it today. Let's go take a look. And another little exciting thing. I'm going to have Reagan and Turner in here to share with you all that is really cool turner's especially excited about it and i'll show you that a little bit later this care bears lunchbox and it also had two different thermoses in it i can't remember what the other one was it wasn't care bears maybe a strawberry shortcake we sold that one separate picked it up at a estate sale not too long ago and sold for twenty dollars plus shipping and it didn't well, i'll show it to you real quick there you go it's got that in there too pretty cool i love that and i got a few complaints on the last show that there were no animals in it and now it's raining so they probably won't come out <laughs> maybe i'll grab one for you this one's been hanging around a little while decided to take an offer on it it's an awesome t-shirt this is an all-around print right here and aops which put in the title are all around which means it just wraps around the whole thing which is awesome my dad picked this up for a dollar and it's double stitch on the sleeve but it's single stitch down here and sports image 1996 chase tag made in the usa really an awesome shirt so a dollar into 95 dollars plus shipping but you know i had to pay for my dad's dinner too i had one non-ebay sale today so just one but i'll take it it was a poshmark sale shout out list perfectly code commonwealth i'm going to give it a shot 30 percent off i want to talk about that for just a second maybe i'll wait a minute $14 for that plus shipping. Strata Golf Club 3. This I can't believe it went for this much, to be perfectly honest with you. It is in great condition. Y'all hear the rain up there? But Strata is not the easiest one to sell. I almost didn't list it. Glad we did. Sorry for the noise if it distracts you. It's raining pretty hard out there now, which is good. Something's got to cool it off because it's super hot around here. Hey, one person asked me uh, on Facebook, where do you find the links on Facebook? We talk about all the links we have. So on YouTube, it's easy. The video description has them, but anytime you want to find any of our links or discounts or anything, you can go to commonwealthpicker.com and go to affiliate. You can check it out there. It actually has a little bit to do with what I want to talk about a little later. After we get through these negative feedbacks, I'll tell you what, we had, we've had we been having a bunch of sales the last couple days. Not too many top dollar ones, but we did have these two, obviously, 95 plus shipping. These Dan Post boots, I think I paid a dollar for those. And they sold for 79 plus shipping so those two sales were really nice you know we had gone over a month without a return probably closer to like 50 days we were going on a pretty good streak right there and then i got that titleist hat return the two titleist hats which whatever we're making we're doing it or we already did it by the time you see this auction went off for charity we still have one for sale turner didn't want it <laughs> which made my heart hurt a little bit but that's all right so I said at the time, I'm like, I hope we don't get another one. And sure enough, we got another one. And then right after it, we got a third one. Now, out of those two, one of them is really my mistake. The other one wasn't. And I made a mistake in the process, however. Let me tell you about that one first. So it was, the, you've seen me sell, they're up here. Well, they were up here. The Jaeger liniment, the ointment. They're like vintage liniment things and it says vintage in the title so the person got it and they said hey the package was all torn up when i got it and they said that there was no seal on these things and the boxes were open and whatever i'm like holy moly i didn't send it like that and they're like these are also old and i'm like yeah i mean you can look at them and tell they're old it says vintage in the title i've sold tons of them before and never had an issue at all and then i had an issue with this so they sent a I guess a return request or opened a case. I can't remember. I get so many messages on there. And I have free returns. So it said it just approves the return or whatever. But apparently on those, I think what I did was list them as is and just said, hey, no returns on these. And I didn't think about that while I was dealing with it. And I didn't deal with it because I thought it was automated. 
and then a case got open ebay gave them their money back they didn't even return it which that part is my fault but at the same time they left the negative feedback as well so it was a return and they got their money back they clearly made a mistake apparently the post office shredded the thing too and i got a negative feedback for it and i'm like ugh. so i wrote them a message and just explained everything i just explained except for i didn't criticize them too much and i asked them if they'd be willing to remove the feedback so far crickets haven't heard back in about 24 hours and like i said right after i got another return and this one was my fault kind of ish so it was that magnolite big eight quart pot that we sold sold it for 90 bucks and shipped it off and they they opened a return and said they didn't like it or they you know whatever i can't remember the exact words that they used but there were two or three holes drilled in the handle part of it and i didn't even see it didn't even cross my mind i don't know if it was covered by the handles or the top lid or something and it, it definitely was in the pictures for sure but i never pointed it out directly in the title or the description or like made you know pointed literally to it in the pictures and they said hey you know this is a nice looking thing it lays flat it's shined up really nice but it does have these and i think i want to return it and i was like okay that's fine fair enough right you make a mistake in the listing which is what i did there and we're going to return that although i did offer and i hardly ever do this i did offer them 30 bucks i'm like would you keep it for 30 bucks because i'm still making a profit on it and they did say thank you but they think they want to return it anyway so i said okay sounds good all right let's talk about a giveaway here we only had how many did i say we have of these left they're all at this point there let's see one two two in here then we got a big club head cover one too we're going to auction that off and then we got the old style ones and we're going to auction no we're not going to auction it off we're going to give this one away compliments of jack butt retro jack s retro on youtube he actually left a message for me and i didn't see it because it wasn't on the purchase but if you go back to the last show you'll see i thanked him on that show and he actually in his message said don't send it to me just go ahead and give it away on the show and i was like really that's really kind because these things are pricey y'all if you're new to the show <laughs> there's a video about it up here and they used to go for insane money now they're just going for crazy money <laughs> And actually, they've bumped back up in price as we're running low here. But we're doing one a week. I think we have one on there right now. And then we'll have one more next week. And then we'll see. I, I do have these in here. I don't really want to get rid of them because they look cool. But, you know, it's kind of this is the house that Enaman built if you're new to the channel. And thank you to all you. Between these and the blue ones we sell on CommonwealthPicker.com, I'm going to have to come up with a total of how many we've sold. Let's just say thousands and thousands of them. So that's a giant thank you to you guys. And Jackass Retro is giving you a thank you too. So I don't know. Let me think of something for you to put in the comments. How about we make it a little harder on you this time? So obviously we're running very low on these. And when these are gone, they're gone forever. And these we made. And these are actually getting very low too. I just looked at the stock the other day and there's one more box left. I'm like, holy moly. And instead of saying, like, we get things moving or whatever, we're going to... These are plush enemas, for those of you who don't know. I think possibly redesign them and make something else, different colors, combine them or something. So tell me down below how you... If you were to make a new one, how would you make a new one? And if you do that the, <laughs> appropriately, of course, and then what we'll do is we'll go through and look through the comments and uh, filter out somehow it's tough to do it when you don't have one particular saying in there i might just have to run that program over and over until we find somebody who wins that that wrote that in there so any rate if you do that down in the comments we'll check it out and somebody's going to win one of these guys and i've got to go right here and pick up my ladder because the next one this one went to your three viewers made a purchase today so thank you this one went to kelly let me grab it turner says i need a new one of these he says he doesn't trust me on it <laughs> he says it's too rattly <laughs> this barbie case just the case sold for twenty dollars i think let me double check make sure i get it right twenty dollars and 21 cents for that case right there 1962 it says on there that's just necessarily the trademark copyright but it's still pretty cool 22 20 dollars 21 cents plus shipping i've been buying so many purses lately i had like bags and purse bins here and we had so many i had to make a new bin just for that 
and it was the Indiana bin. And we put all the Vera Bradley in one, so it made it a little easier, you know, the coach and Victoria's Secret and Kate Spade and the other. And I've been doing pretty good. Even, you know, I used to not pick up a Vera Bradley at all. And then my aunt, shout out Aunt Lori, she's like, you know, if you can figure out the pattern, you're better off because you can list the pattern, you're going to get more sales. And I'm like, yeah, well, okay. And then Google Lens came about, and then it made it way easier to find the patterns. And I started picking them up again if they were in pretty good condition. Like this one has a few little condition issues. See this? But it was a double, right? If you come up with two in the same pattern or three, sometimes they have the wallets. Speaking of that, there's a wallet here that's sold as well. And this was also to Kelly. So I didn't realize that the first time through. So Kelly, thank you for this and this. I can only assume you're a viewer, of course, even though I didn't see a message on the purchase. But I'm pretty certain you sent me a message somewhere and I read it. So anyway, you got all of these right here. Not huge money. The condition isn't perfect on these. So still $30, $32 and change plus shipping on these. And I think I paid, oh, I don't know, maybe two or three for this one and probably a dollar for that one. But just looking at them in general, I've started to pick them up again if they're in great shape and you can get them for a buck or two. And if they have those duplicates where there's two or three of the same exact thing. And I pick them up and they're doing pretty good. So all you ladies out there, or guys for that matter, is there a particular pattern that is like a bolo really, really good? I'd be curious to know that if you could put in the uh, comments below. If you remember the Joyous Junk Sale that was on the Picker Channel not too long ago with my wife in it, I saw this as I was passing by into the toy room, I guess is what you want to call it, or whatever that other room is. And I think I saw a dollar on it, maybe two. And I'm like, I pick those up all the time now. This one is a Polynix and it's, there's different ones that go for better money, but they're usually quick sellers if you put the right price on them. And so I can't remember if I paid one or two, but it sold for 20 and it sold really, really quickly. And that was 20 plus shipping. I can't wait to uh, see what Dave and Carrie have to say about me selling <laughs> massagers on the Trash to Cash podcast. Y'all should really go over there and defend me a little bit. They have been beating up on me relentlessly lately. There's one, this just got listed as well. Matter of fact, we listed a ton of shoes. Hmm, this whole bin. Well, actually that looks like some of the older ones, but I think maybe the newer ones we put in here. So I don't know where to find this other one. I swear it was sitting on top. We just put it in there. I guess I'll pull it out. And that's a coat shoe. And just like the purses, coach shoes go well. These have a little wear, but they're not in too bad a shape. And we, I don't know if we took them off. I think we just listed them fairly low. $35 plus shipping for those. I think I paid a dollar for these. And I love, obviously, ship, shipping shoes in the USPS shoe box, which you can get free over there. Let y'all know that. USPS.com. However, sometimes lately, if they're going to California or something, we're doing ground advantage because that's how we're doing our listings. But... In this case, it's going to be cheaper to send it in a priority box and send it because it's going to New Jersey. And so we'd rather use those boxes than the box that we got to pay for or find. And anyway, speaking of shipping, that's a big thank you to Michael for buying plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table at runcommonwealthpicker.com. Sold some salt and pepper shakers. I might have to throw it up here on the screen because I don't really want to open the box. And a napkin holder, some cats and it sold for $16 plus shipping. And we sold a Scooby-Doo keychain, and this is the second of three viewer sales. And maybe that'll get me talking about channel memberships, which I probably should think through this a little bit because I haven't really collected my thoughts on it too much, but I figure what the heck. Everybody seems to be doing it, and at this point, I don't have any plans, and I want to talk about a little bit, explain some things, and thank some people. So I don't think this is the right one. I think there were two different scoops. Now let's see. Let me just double check. Is this it? Yep, this is it right here. And it sells, what do we sell these for? $11.95. Free shipping. And it went to Mark. Thanks for all the videos. Really appreciate the help and the information. My daughter loves Scooby-Doo and loves books. And I think this keychain will be a big hit for her, Mark. East Coast Picks. Very cool, Mark. Thank you very much, and I hope she enjoys it. No animals today, but I gotta go in and get a jersey. Pepper's sleeping, so I thought I'd show you Pepper out here on the porch with my mess of boxes. All right, went in and got the jersey here. It's a Kaepernick jersey, and it, 
We did free shipping. They're not obviously high demand here. I haven't played them forever. All the stuff that surrounds them and all that stuff. But still got $45. I paid $10, $45 free ship for it. So we're still making money. So since I've had the question about memberships, we talk about on the podcast, we rip on Dave because he does channel memberships and me and Carrie don't. And he calls me a shill. <laughs> any rate, and he talked about it on his show where I guess YouTube offered him 500 bucks to do it. And then so much more if he got so many members or whatever. And of course, they didn't offer me that or carry or whatever. But I've heard some other people talking about it, which is why I've been getting questions about it. I just haven't really thought about it too much. I thought about it a while back. And I don't know. There's I'm not opposed to it, y'all. I just, I'm so very grateful for every, I mean, look, we talked about three viewer sales here today. People buy stuff out of the merch store. They bid on the Inaman. They, you know, go on whatnot and support us when we're over there. There's so many ways that you guys have just been overwhelmingly gracious to us. And I, I feel like a lot of the membership stuff is basically just people saying thank you. And you're not really getting anything for it. And I don't know. I'm very grateful to you, and I say this all the time, and I mean it. I learn so much from you. I see people tell me they learn so much. I'm like, what are you learning from me? <laughs> I, you know, this, just stuff you find, right? But I do appreciate that. That is very, very kind. Um, as of now, I don't have any plans to do it. I don't know. I think if I ever did it, it would probably be... I like community, right? I, I love it. Everything I do is about building something that feels family oriented in some way. And I feel like this channel right here, the flipper channel is, is just that for me. It is my therapy. It is what I love to do. I just love finding stuff and flipping it to make money. And I feel like it's a family already. And I, I just, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't have my thoughts together on it too much, but I, I thought at one point, remember the, the stickers we did here, we do them every quarter. I thought maybe doing, Something like, you know, if we did something, there'd be something tangible, like every three months we'd send you a gift, you know, or something like that. I don't know. Um, we talked, I talked with a guy about doing a newsletter and I really, I mentioned this on the last show. I really like the idea of creating something for all resellers, not even necessarily a channel where there's some kind of organization that can speak for all of us because we don't have that as independent resellers. And so if I could fashion something around that, it wouldn't necessarily be for a channel, but I don't know. I do like the way that Chris Old School Picker does it. I wouldn't do it this way. I don't think I would anyways, because I have these license plates, but on in his bins, he puts people who are members of his channel. And I know Reseller Information Network is doing that. And I saw Ginger Marvin is doing memberships and stuff, but I'm so incredibly grateful to y'all that nobody needs to thank me any more than they already do. For anything i truly do need to thank you all so and uh you'll see later you know the, the hundred thousand subscribers on picker channel and i've said this before i'll say it again you people out there have changed my life far more than i've changed anybody else's life so i don't know maybe sometime down the road but it would have to be something cool and something that people could feel a part of but at this point i don't have any plans for it there's boots right there y'all no name was coming in but decided to go under the shed instead. It's probably too hot. And I am very flattered, though, that people would even ask me to do it. That just blows my mind. So, at any rate, Nike Dry Fit Golf, size medium. I think I used to wear this to school as a teacher. That's something that came out of my closet, I believe. Although now I wear a large. I used to be. Go back and watch the first videos on this channel. I think I weighed 30 pounds less. I was pretty darn skinny. <laughs> At any rate, that one, you know, I, what did I pay for it? I don't even know. I probably got it at a yard sale for a buck or for a few years. $17.09 free shipping. All right, y'all, we have Turner and Wallen eating the ball. <laughs> surprise, surprise. All right, Turner's in his baseball outfit. He had practice yeah. today. Wallen, you in your bed? <laughs> You're going to chew that thing up. All right, we got a letter addressed to Turner at the P.O. Box, and it's from, let's see if I remember the names, Wes the, and Melanie. The Slim Flippers. The Slim Flippers. And they got a few jokes, and Turner picked one out today. And it's appropriate because his baseball, <laughs> his ball went underneath there. That's funny. Oh. All right, go ahead and read it to us. All right. What baseball player makes pancakes? What baseball player makes pancakes? I know this one. All right, what is it? 
The batter. The batter. <laughs> I like it, Terry. Thanks for the Commonwealth comedy, bud. Bye. All right, here's something my dad picked up at a yard sale, and this is holding down all of our Commonwealth comedy jokes, so I need to really find a place for that. It's stuck back there. There we go. And I love wood, picking up these wood grain radios, and some go for decent money, especially the ones that flip that aren't digital. Those go for good money. This one was just a dollar, and it sold pretty quick for $11 plus shipping. As you see, a lot of the sales today, other than a few, there's a few really good ones in there, weren't high dollar. But you know, some days that's what sustains you here. That's the right shirt, is it the right? So, yep, it's a woman's team apparel we got these for free so size small and it sold for 14 dollars free shipping so at free i'm gonna see three seven we're gonna make like seven dollars profit on that shirt right there to me that's worth it super easy multi-quantity and i saw there was a message here but it just says thank you i don't necessarily think this is from a viewer i think just somebody who bought it said thank you so brandon thank you <laughs> appreciate it next sale is something that's been well, I say stuff's been hanging around, but this stuff really sold pretty darn quick, pretty fast. We had two tubs full of it. I think there are like six left. I gotta find the right one. This is actually my favorite one, and it's now sold out. $9.71 plus shipping. The mini cars don't do quite as good as the other ones, but let me tell you, we sold a ton of these. And we made some money. Some of y'all might remember that sale. We just made a blanket offer for everything. Got them for like two bucks a piece. And so even the worst ones, I guess worst ones, the ones that took forever to sell, still sold and we're still making money. Two bucks and a 9.71 plus shipping. All right, y'all. This is something that Turner especially has been excited about, but Reagan's been excited about it. And it showed up while I was gone yep. for a couple of days. But in and a safe spot. That's so right. Wouldn't get to it. So like what? Jacob's diploma. <laughs> That's or whatever right. it was called. I don't know if that's uh -huh. what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. At any rate, y'all, this, I know it's not the Commonwealth Picker channel, but I wanted to share this with you guys because this channel is, and the piece, people on Facebook as well. A lot of people on Facebook watch and don't even realize we have YouTube channels, but Commonwealth Picker is the first one to hit 100K, and we owe it all to all of you. So you want to show everybody? Yeah. I'll all right, go ahead. Take it off. Turner was so excited, boy. <laughs> Check it out right there. What do you think of that, y'all? It's just insane. Presented it's to Commonwealth so cool. Picker. We're all Commonwealth it's Picker. So cool. For passing 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Very, very cool. Now, where should we it's put so it, y'all? I think we should put it in the other shed because that, no, that shed has no. more of an No, but we do our videos <laughs> in here. It's, that we one's a little cleaner. Here. This one's a little kind of yeah, Where are mixed you going to put it in here, Turner? I don't know. Maybe like <laughs> right there? To, how about but right here? I was thinking. then you can't see it. I was thinking right here. No, you don't like yeah, that? That's that's like, like, oh boy, this can be controversial. Ask, Maybe we could like put it right here yeah, right and here. then put these down here, but then that's kind of I like yeah, the right. matching. Oh boy, all right. I think y'all ask tell the viewers. Yeah. There, I think we should. Put no, it no, 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 no. Don't listen to her. <laughs> well, I'll go film how that about, shed then. Definitely. How about we ask the viewers and they can tell us their input okay. and then we'll decide on it. What do you think? Does that sound good? Yeah. And again, another low dollar sale. Matter of fact, I picked this one up last year when I was in Minnesota for a couple days. Went up with my boy, with Bubba, to VCon. And went out to some Minnesota yard sales on Saturday. And I didn't know that uh, Saturday's not the go day to go up there. <laughs> and it was at the first sale and I didn't know what to expect at that point. And I picked up a bunch of stuff like this that was $1 into, you know, 13, 14, something like that. This one actually sold, I think it was 25% off. So it went out for $10.50. Which, you know, isn't amazing, but even at 25% off, $10 into $10.50 is just about a $4 profit on something like that. That's the Minnesota Golden Gophers. I got another one that actually had the gopher on it, and that one goes for a little bit more. So, anyway, this one did go, this is the third viewer sell of the day to Scott. Thanks for the great info shared. I left a corporate job years ago and never looked back. Your teaching and coaching experience shines. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It says sell on. I hear the dog. Here's the dog. I think it's the dog. No? Yeah, it's Wallen. You're back for more, huh? It's because I didn't give you a treat last time, huh? <laughs> it's not there anymore. Thank you, Scott, for that. And I'm just going to say goodbye from right here. I think, well, actually, you know what? We have one more thing that I've got to show you, but I'm going to say goodbye anyways, and I can't wait to see you next time. All right, y'all, don't think Reagan wears the same shirt every day. She's leaving for a little bit of trip with her mama. No, I wear the same shirt every day. <laughs> Just kidding. So she's leaving for a couple days, and I'm filming this right after we did yesterday, or whenever you saw the last show. So 
She's got a couple more people to thank for buying items at a CommonwealthPicker.com. What do you got? David got a COVP shirt, and Samantha got a fanny pack. Awesome. Thank you all very much. I hope you had fun on your little trip. Thank you. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. And Wallen can't wait to see you next time either. There you go, bud. You like that? Now I gotta go. <laughs> you didn't like it. You slobbered on me. Now I gotta go wash my hands before I ship all this stuff.